S-O-U-N-D Hello everyone, you are welcome to The Fellowship. This is an unscripted conversation about contemporary Christian life. It's time for The Fellowship. Some good, some good. Every day, all day, gotta release that. Some good, some good, some good. Keep saying it, don't stop talking. Some good, some good, some good. Ha, some good, ha. The pastor taught me so. I guess you already know. No? Welcome everybody to this amazing week and with me in the house as usual is the most beautiful Dr. Janet. Hello Dr. Janet. Hi Anna. How have you been? I've been great. Sure. Yeah. Good to see you again. And guess what guys, for the first time we have a couple in the house. <laughs> I'm going to introduce to you right now Engineer Julius Otokina. And Nancy Otokina, his Ooh. most beautiful wife. I call her Obodo Yibo. Yeah, <laughs> she's Obodo. <laughs> so if you see her on the road, you just say Obodo. Obodo she wins. She wins. <laughs> You're welcome to the fellowship. Yes, so when I called you and said to you, we're going to be on set, how did you react? What did you think? Oops. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I've been waiting for this call. Oh, you know, the fellowship, and it's so nice to be here. It's a uh, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really an honor to have you, engineer. So, how have you been? How has this week been, generally? Wow, well, the week. Sincerely, the week came with a lot of negative reports. You know, so many bad news. You know, I heard of um, the case of the killing of black, the black guy in America, and cases of rape. You know, racism. But the truth is, it's all about hatred. It's not about the color of the skin. Yeah, the hate is so much out there, guys. You turn on the news, you're just gonna turn it right back off. But Janet, what, how was the week for you? Well, yes, I mean, Engineer Julius has said that, I mean, these things, the truth is that these things have been happening for generations now, but the good thing about it is that right now people are speaking up. So those that have been silent, those that have just been taking the back seat, watching everything, they are now speaking up. Yeah, 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 be the light, you know, be the voice of, like you were saying, don't keep silence, be the voice of love, be the voice of empathy, like, you know, instead of just hushing things up, and uh, keeping quiet i think speaking about it from your environment from your home you know preach love be the voice of christ because if you look at all the incidences of jesus in the bible you know jesus always he did not he did not stand for injustice he always stood against you know even then when you say ah the samaritan woman we're not going to talk to her and those are going to that's the person he's going to talk to the lepers oh we're not going to talk to them oh they are segregated. those are the people jesus reached out to and now like he said we are like him in this world exactly. yeah we are like christ so pastor chris even said he said people that commit these crimes show that they are bankrupt of love they have the love bankruptcy you know in their hearts their hearts are so devoid of love but if you spread love from your family starting from your home it starts with each and every one of us start preaching love talking about love because god is love and jesus wants us to speak love and spread love yeah so you know the week was just was something else so in spite of all this darkness which the bible the word of god has already told us in isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 that cross darkness will cover the earth and the people but the glory of God will be seen in us. So in spite of the bad news, man, that is my confidence that I am the glory of God. So I'm going to show forth the glory of God in my neighborhood, in my church, in my WhatsApp group, everywhere I am. And here you know, right now, people have been asking questions like, why are these things happening? What is the cause? But guess what? The Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately we care. Who can know it? So don't try to understand, don't try to explain. No, go to the solution, which is love. This is exactly what we are sharing right now. Yeah. Love, love is the answer. Love is the solution. God is love. God is love. Exactly. Okay, Janet, just like you were saying just now, 
like a man of God also told us, it told us that it's not about the skin color. True. This hatred is not about you being black or me being white. He told us that even people with the same color, we really in the same family, they could have so much hatred for themselves. So at this point in time, what we need to do is to share love, show love to everyone, especially from where you are, yeah. from where you are, because yeah. okay, you are saying. Um, um, it's, it's not even a matter of color yes. or anything. How about yes? How about like all these rapes? Even they have the same color. <laughs> exactly, they have yeah, the same color. Yeah, sometimes yeah. even of the same house yes. or the same you know community. Yes. Man, it's just anyway, anyway, the anyway, 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 anyway. The glory yeah, of the well, Lord well. is seen upon us. Yes. Glory exactly. to God. Exactly. How have you been, Julius? Yeah. Work. How was mm. work? How was um. How was the whole lockdown, lockdown thing? Were you, were you, were you like lockdown? Never, I can <laughs> never be lockdown. No, not me. I know who I am. You know, for me, for me, the whole um, lockdown experience was actually um, a time to reflect. It was a time to step up my game. Mm. You know, especially for me, being an engineer, I do essential services. Wow, so you had the essential service pass? Yes, I had my pass, so I was still going out. So that was the first proof that I was not locked down. Yeah, how about you, Nancy? How was it? Cool. Aside from the fact that I run a laundry so business, I also focus more on my confessionary business. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you sent a cake to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you tasted Nancy's Please, cake? I'm waiting for mine. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but Julius, you can testify now. Nancy makes juicy, I don't know if juicy is the right word. Juicy, yeah, you yes. Juicy. Mm. Her cakes are like, mm. uh -huh. <laughs> tell her, tell her. The, the word for me is tempting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, have, I have to struggle to keep fit. <laughs> So I went online with my business and you wow. know people were at home so they kept on ordering. Wow. Yes, so yes. Around, I know I ordered for one. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you so much. So this time around I didn't have to go look for them, they were looking for me. <laughs> and you know we had the um, delivery stuff running so yeah. we could always deliver their cakes yeah. and small chores and stuff. So, so that means why awesome. so so you did you did not feel any no, I didn't feel any lockdown. <laughs> Anyways, the fact is that I've always worked from home, so okay. there was no lockdown for me. It's oh, cool, cool. So it's just cool. How about you, Julius? Like, uh, any testimony? Yeah, I, I have quite a lot of testimony, but this particular one I would love to share, you know, and that brings me to the point where I would like to say to people that the word of God is actually our life. We don't have any any life outside the word of God. You know, when the pandemic started, there was a lot of fear. Like Pastor told us, all the devil wanted to, uh, to propagate was just that fear, mm. you know, making false expectations appear real, mm. you know, and the only solution to that is faith. Mm. So I got a call from my younger brother who lives in another country, and he called me and he said, um, hello, boss. I just want to let you know how the situation at hand. He said um, he was supposed to go for his, his um, papers or his um, visa stay papers. So, and one of the criteria is that you need to do your medical. Okay, he said just three days before he went for the medical, he started feeling sick. He was the fact that night he was terribly sick. That was his word. You know, and he said um, he went to the hospital and they tested and they said you are COVID-19 positive. Don't say, yeah, don't that say. Was, wow. Yeah, that he was COVID-19 positive. Wow. And they're like the whole place is filled up. Like he should just go home and I saw it in the wow. so he went back home so he was scared he called me and said this is it and immediately he sent me a voice note so what i did was that i also responded with a voice mm. note i spoke in tongues like mm. never before then i declared words and i sent it to him i said keep just like they would tell you in the hospital that you should keep taking this mm. tablet morning afternoon night mm. listen to this prayer morning afternoon night as mm. much as you can and he did it did asked me to come after seven days and i said but next time you go back there that positive will be changed to negative and exactly seven days he went back they did the test and he was declared COVID-19 negative. Wow. In fact, he sent me the screenshots. Oh, wow. yes, so, the screenshot of the report. I still oh, have it. So, so that was it. No, no, so the word of God works no, anytime, any day. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations for that. Um, that is an amazing testimony. Thank you. It's time for tell us. Tell us, tell us, tell us. You're in the hot seat this today. Is, exactly. <laughs> this is that time where you guys get to answer our questions. Yes. Really? And trust me. Yeah, exciting question. Yeah. By the way, how is Andre? Oh, Andre is fine. Andre is five years old and during this lockdown, I learned to be a teacher. <laughs> I know. So now I appreciate teachers more because yeah, teaching a five-year-old, oh my God, yeah. something else. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay. So the first question is going to be, so how am I going to run this segment is, I try out a question and the both of them are going to answer. Couple, you know. 
So, what do you do when you're happy or you hear great news? Like we heard, like, hey, church is opening again. So, what do you do when you're happy? Julius, take this body. Is it coming to me first? Yeah. <laughs> my seat is suddenly hot. <laughs> 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 okay, okay now see what you do when you're happy. Okay, so whenever I'm happy and I'm excited or I hear great news, I just start dancing. Oh! <laughs> so, I dance and I, I just sing praise to God, like, oh God, you're awesome. You know? <laughs> okay, what about you? For me, for me, for me, when I'm happy, there's a particular sign. I have a particular sign. Okay. When I'm happy, there's something I love to just eat. Just <laughs> fish. Is it, is it our fish? Uh, fish. <laughs> there's this fish, Julius. Each time I call Julius and he's like, I'm doing something. I'm like, is it that fish? He's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I know there is good news. Wow. Okay, cool. So that's what you do when you're happy. Yeah. Amazing. So this one is exciting. Yeah. Question number three. Tell us your before and your after Christ Embassy experience. Like before you got to Christ Embassy, what did you think about the church? And then when you joined, you became a part of the church. Yeah. How was it? Yeah. Okay, let me go first because okay. I know that he will have a lot of things as a pastor, right? Yes. <laughs> for me, there was no before Christ Embassy. I was never a church person. Oh. So for me, it's always been. Christ Embassy. I gave oh, so you, you gave your life in Christ Embassy? Christ Embassy. Oh, who, who took you to church? Okay. Julius here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> so you, oh my god, oh my god, oh, this is so sweet. Oh, you won her? Yeah, yeah actually I did. You won, wow. You I pushed, married her. I married her. <laughs> Guys, take notes, take notes. You win the girl, yeah, that, you marry her. Well. So, so when you, so so now the question I should rephrase is, so when you saw her, you saw the future like, hey. <laughs> okay, okay, answer, okay, answer, 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 answer your own question. Okay, like, so for me, um, before Christ Embassy experience, yeah. you know, before Christ Embassy experience, uh, back then in school, I normally see them like, oh, that, that church where really, they I used to say, that church where really, they give me wear trousers. So that's where I used to like, So I didn't see them like, any serious people. Serious. Yes, I just felt people are not serious. You know, but somehow, they invited me and I went there. And when I got in, I could see young people with the trousers and everything I thought they were wearing. Yeah, I can see, I can see your, I can see your baby girl. No, <laughs> yeah, I can see your baby girl is like, yeah. Lifting up their hands in worship. And the one that really caught my attention when I saw them praying in tongues. I'm like, really? Wow. I thought the only pastors are praying in tongues. Wow. So automatically it got my attention. You know, then, uh, two weeks later, we in Lake, they were, there was a program in Lagos. I think that was the very last total experience. So I was invited and I went. So I can you tell us the year? Yeah, like, that, that was 2002. Wow. Yeah. So that was the year in right there in that meeting. I still remember in Lagos, I gave my heart to Christ. My pastor was wow. Okay. So. Then you now made up your mind to go back and get this sister. Good job. <laughs> 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 that was a super exciting segment. So right now, Julius, you're going to look into the camera and talk to your viewers and give them a word of inspiration. Just something to them. All right, thank you very much. Well, to our viewers watching today, I just want to say to you that irrespective of all that has happened in the world, irrespective of the negative news all around, I'd like you to keep your faith in God. You know, like faith has been described by Pastor, he said, faith is in response of the human spirit to the word of God. So the only way to overcome fear is for you to have faith in God's word. You know, so I want to encourage every one of us to stick to the word. And if you sure stick to the word, you will definitely come back with testimony. So in this season, refuse to be swayed by the news on TV, refuse to be swayed by the negativity around the world, but stick your faith in God's word. Because only the word of God is sure to give you the edge. Only in God's word, we have the victory. Only in God's word, it will sure say, you are more than conqueror. So put your faith in the word of God. Wow, wow, thank you. He's so indeed Pastor Julius. This is indeed. <laughs> and it reminds me of that song. I will keep on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, thank you, thank you, Engineer Julio Sotokina and Nancy Otokina. It was an absolute pleasure to have you guys with us on set of the fellowship. I hope you enjoyed your time. I had a good time. Will you come again if I, I invite you? I don't want this to end. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming and all my love to Andre. Thank you. Tell him I love him. Sure. Thank you, God bless you. I could have had an amazing time on set with the Otokinas. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really nice. You yeah. Know, it's, it's, I, I think we should just do more like couple thing 
It was really, 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 really nice talking with them. Especially, man, did you hear his testimony about yeah. his brother? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, God is awesome. Yeah. God is awesome. awesome testimony. Wow. So tell them our handles, like. So on YouTube, we are Christ Embassy Abuja Media on Facebook. Christ Embassy Abuja Zone. We are also on Instagram as Christ Embassy Abuja Zone. And you can check out our website www.cabuja.org. Cool. So, do you have a final word for the viewers? All right. So, final word. As a Christian, you can never be defeated. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Just remember that greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Oh my God. Yes. And considering everything that is going on in this world all the darkness all the dark news all the bad stuff that is happening around us in the world remember we are in the world but we are not of this world and so my real real final word is this jesus said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven be that light wherever you are thank you i'm gonna see you same time same channel next week i love you bye bye let's go sickness can dwell in this body head shoulder toes i mean all of my body i got the very life of god in my body god be my help me no fear nobody money locating me every day god elevating me my God got faith in me, number one, other the child is no debate to me. Ah, uh, Charlie, I'm the head of the corner. Charlie, corner. Charlie so I dance when I want to. Oh, yeah, Charlie, me a tall, Charlie, me no fall, Charlie, me a ball, and God answer every call. Oh, yeah. He says all about that. Every day, all day, got to release that. Some cool say it, don't stop talking. Some cool, some cool. Some cool, some cool, some cool, some cool. Some cool. Some cool. Some cool. My pastor taught me so. I guess you already know. So come join me. Let's get on with the floor. Let's go. Import dead people, export life. Import whores, then we export wives. Import while it's day and not night. Import all day. We